everyone, it's Caroline Wu here in Beijing. Today we are going to learn about Beijing embroidery, which was mainly used in court decoration and clothing. Today you are going to follow me to get acquainted with this handicraft that features elegant style. So join us today is Miss Jingjing. Welcome. Thank you so much. She is an inheritor of Beijing embroidery, and she is specialized in production and design of Beijing embroidery. And she has won quite many awards. We're going to show that quite many awards and trophies. So let's get it started and take a look. This is her studio. Let's take a look. All these artworks of her, which are extremely exquisite and elaborate. So for Beijing embroidery, this is、uh, on the list of the intangible national intangible cultural heritage, and、uh, it is one of the eight exquisite handicrafts here in Beijing. So let's head over there, all the way over there. This is a marital room, which、uh, I guess a lot of you probably do not know. What is this? This is for a couple, a room for a couple who just got married. Um, so you can see this is a traditional wedding dress, traditional Chinese wedding dress, and you can see it's、uh, made of the、uh, using the、uh, technique of the embroidery. Very, very beautiful. Yeah, let's take a closer look of that, and、uh, let me say hi to you while you guys taking a closer look at what you're looking at. Okay, this is a wedding dress, traditional wedding dress that is、uh, using the technique of embroidery. All right, I can see myself, and、uh, now I'm looking at、uh, Linda. Hi, how's it going? And also, I see Reginald, and who else? We should shake、uh, Reyes, right? Thank you so much. <laughs> I said, Jesse, yeah, please share and like this video. And today we are very lucky and honored to have、uh, Jingxing, Miss Jingxing, here to join us, who is an inheritor of Beijing embroidery. So let's take a closer look of this room. These are all her works. 都是您的作品。对 ，this is Mandarin duck. Mandarin duck, uh, which uh, is a affectionate, which means in Chinese it means. An affectionate couple, so it is usually you know people would、uh, present this kind of an、uh, image on their clothing or their quilt, like this one. What you're seeing, this is a quilt,、uh, the Mandarin duck on it, and the lotus as well. And also, you can see the the color red, which in Chinese traditional Chinese culture it means the happiness、uh, or delight. Uh, so you can see, this is wow! So happy, so much joy here in this room. This is really beautiful dress,、uh, Miss Jingxing.、Um, this is something I wanted to put on when I get married. You can see、uh, that phoenix is Feng Huang, right? Phoenix and Xiqiu, Dongmei, and yeah, very beautiful.、Uh, some plants and some birds.、Uh, these are all having the、uh, auspicious meaning. So usually in traditional Chinese culture. Uh, especially in Beijing embroidery, anything you put on, anything you、uh, put on the embroidery work,、uh, they have to have meanings and they have to have the auspicious meanings. Yeah. So like what you're seeing, the phoenix here represents good luck. And、uh, take a look over here. This work, this is what. Uh, 百鸟朝凤 Mm-hmm. 对 Many birds. Every one, you can you can see every bird is double. Ah,、oh, mm. it's like every bird. It's like、uh, you can see two of them. It's like a couple.、Mm. Each kind of bird, they have two. It's like a couple. So it's also mean. It also means an affectionate couple. And、uh, what's in the middle? That's phoenix. And the Mutanhua, 玉兰花叫玉堂富贵 Okay, and also there's peonies. Peonies in traditional Chinese culture, it means、uh, wealth. And also on the left side, left side corner, you can see Mandarin duck as well.、Mm -hmm. Recently, we've got a lot of coverage of Mandarin duck, which in Chinese culture it means an affectionate couple to describe the newlyweds. Yeah, we like to use Mandarin duck、uh, to describe the newlyweds、uh, to, you know, hope for their, you know, something that's really nice, really sweet for their life. And take a look at these are、uh, some. Decorations on the table, some ornaments on the table, which are being being put into the、uh, frame. These are,、uh, I think, this is the full character for those of you who have been following us.、Uh, the full character is good fortune. Definitely,、uh, this is something we wish for the newlyweds. And also, you can see this is using the technique of、uh, the embroidery. Very exquisite. Oh, by the way, what you, I want you guys to take a look at what I'm wearing. This is also a work by Miss Jingxing. This is、uh, you can see the clothes. Take a closer look of 
This is a flower. I think, uh, as far as I know, it's a, either peony or lotus. Yeah, Muda. Yeah, yeah, handmade. It's handmade. handmade by her. Very beautiful. Very beautiful work. You can see it's shiny and love the color. You can see embroidery. It's a very, very. Uh, I, I think it specializes in the rich color and also the uh, clean lines and the exquisite imagery, exquisite pattern, uh, elaborate patterns. See, I really love this dress. And also, let's take a look this one. That's also another uh, ornamental object uh, that's being put into the frame. It's also made by uh, using the technique of embroidery. This is uh, double shuangxi in Chinese, um, but in English, it's double delight, double blessing, or double happiness. And, uh, this is golden thread. Golden thread. It's using golden, golden thread, thread, which means uh, wealth. Or somebody who's born with a silver stone or golden stone. It's a it's a wish thinking. I think it's a wish. Yeah, yeah. Take a look. This is kind of furniture that uh, in traditional Chinese culture, it, it is uh, using very expensive uh, or rare wood um, to put into the newlywed room. Yeah, these are all the things I wanted to talk about. Maybe this was just 之前是放到过故宫里面是吗？呃，这是故宫的原作，我们复制品。Oh, oh, this is a replica, but uh, well, the original work it was being put into the uh, Palace Museum, which is a national level museum. Very, very beautiful work to uh, decorate the uh, newlywed room or the marital room. Here, let's take a look. Uh, this is pipa, which is a, a traditional Chinese uh, stringed instrument. And uh, what you see in the middle, these are uh, lotus. Lotus is what we use to describe uh, uh, someone who is uh, with noble quality or integrity, or to describe someone who is rising from uh, un unsolid, uh, rising unsolid from the mud. This is uh, two phoenix. Oh yeah, two phoenix. Two phoenix means uh, met together. Oh, they they, together. they 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 uh, fly together. Uh, mm -hmm. They gonna spend the rest of their life together, uh, an affectionate couple. Uh, that's my understanding. But see the color, it's so rich. I love it a lot. I love it so much. And uh, I see a lot of people are commenting. Let's see. I see Kenny is here. And uh, we see Michelle. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. All right, I see Lena said, absolutely beautiful. Caroline, my favorite color. Thank you so much. And uh, this is uh, on the list of the uh, National Intangible Cultural Heritage, uh, which you're looking at. If you just started joining us, we are looking at the work of Ms. Jinxing, who is an inheritor of Beijing Embroidery. Uh, Beijing Embroidery, it is one, um, it, one out of the eight uh, exquisite handicrafts here in Beijing. Yeah. So Phoenix, this is a flower or is it the image? A lotus. These are all lotus. Mm. Mm. Lotus, we describe describe yes. someone as uh, integrity or uh, yeah, someone who is full of a uh, means safety. Oh, means safety. Oh, means safety as well. Oh, okay, interesting. See the color. So there are actually three of them. This one, it's not only looks like a uh, Chinese instrument, a string instrument, but also looks like uh, the shape of a Aquarius, like a treasure bottle or something like that, because it uh, means good fortune. So the things in embroidery, we see the imagery, a lot of them are having the uh, meaning of auspiciousness. Ah, so, Feng Huang ma? Ah, these are also phoenix. So you can see a lot of phoenix. Uh, we, use, we like to use phoenix to describe a uh, uh, female here in China, and also we like to use uh, dragons uh, to describe uh, males in, um, act actually, in. Uh, uh, nowadays, we like to use dragons to describe uh, uh, boys or guys. But in ancient China, back in the day, um, an outfit or a robe, imperial robe, uh, that only uh, emperors can have the dragons on it. Uh, nobody else can wear a robe that has dragons on it. Yeah. So this is really the yeah. Stitch. This is stitch. Uh, oh, you can see this is uh, the delicate work of the, uh, you can see the detail, yeah. The gradual change of the color. You can see one, two, three, four, five color only uh, to, you know, 
to get this work done using this, these five different kinds of threads to making sure this uh, gradual change of color is uh, excellently, uh, is, a, is a good job. See, it takes a lot of effort and then time consuming, it takes a lot of concentration to do the detail of this work. Yeah. So, so that it's, it makes a really vivid picture, vivid imagery for this work. Yeah. And uh, let's uh, take a look at this before, uh, yeah, take a look the detail. Let's see what people are talking. Okay, so Kenny is here and uh, we see who else? Pillar, we see James. James has beautiful painting. These are not paintings, James. These are Beijing embroidery. Um, we see Michelle Cha is here. And uh, who else? Okay, Michelle Cha said, I love your blue green dress. Thank you so much. I love it too. This is also Ms. Jingjing's work. Uh, the details over here on the left side, is, these are all using the technique of Beijing embroidery. These are peonies, which represents uh, good fortune and the wealth, strength. Uh, let's see who else is talking. Jerry, James, and uh, definitely a great dress, Kenny said. Thank you so much. All right, yeah, this is uh, hundreds of children. You can see hundreds of them. These are all children. So in traditional Chinese culture, hundreds means in infinity. So that means endless fortune. And what it's being made of is the word shou in Chinese, which uh, is longevity. So hundreds of children all together made up this word, which is longevity, shou. Yeah. So yeah, we like to have a lot of, because hundreds, it's not only hundreds in traditional Chinese culture. It means in infinity. So we like to have a lot of children, and uh, it's like endless good fortune and, uh, you know, longevity. All right, this is another work of her. Yeah, <laughs> it's a really, really big uh, peony. Yeah, uh, in traditional Chinese culture, we like to use uh, peony to describe well, wealth or to wish someone who uh, can be born uh, with a silver spoon in his or her mouth, something like that. You can see the golden thread, right? Later on, you are going to see me, uh, see also see Ms. Jinxing to do the work to show us the skills, the technique of Beijing embroidery. Ms. Jinxing is well known in this industry and has won many awards and trophies. So she's going to show us some techniques and skills. It requires um, really diverse stitches and a really skillful needlework uh, for the Beijing embroidery. It takes a lot of time to, you know, master this kind of technique. I really love this, see the golden thread, because, you know, the golden color of the, this thread, it adds some depth, uh, or I would say it adds uh, some, uh, I don't know, it's, it's uh, really hard to describe. It's what? a modern design. It's not a modern design? Not like some traditional okay. patterns. Okay. It's all new design by Jinxing. It's all new design. It's a yeah. modern design. It's not a traditional uh, thing that she designed. Mm, yeah, it's adding kind of noble quality. It's like classy. This is a, what, I wanted, what I wanted to say. The uh, golden thread, it, it makes it look more classy. Yeah. And in this work, we also can see the most different with the Su style. Mm -hmm. it, Su style? It's the color change. You can count it. It's one, two, three, four, like many different colors change. It's most different with Su style. Mm -hmm. Like many people ask uh, when they first time met the picking embroidery, they ask us which different with the Su style. So we can see this by the details. See the color change ways is most different. Mm. Ah, interesting. Ah, okay. So the, the, uh, they are talking about the color change. It's really detailed. And also, what's different from Su style uh, embroidery and the Beijing embroidery is that uh, the image is uh, th th that being used is different. So Beijing embroidery it was actually originated from the the court. It mainly used in court decoration and clothing. And uh, back in the day in ancient China, uh, the imperials, uh, the, the, the emperors, empresses can use that kind of uh, uh, image or using the embroidery. But for Su style, it's probably more for folks. Uh, and also the image that they use, uh, 
maybe cats and dogs, something really ordinary, not like these uh, peonies or dragons and phoenix. Uh, so that Beijing embroidery is really outclassed Sioux style uh, embroidery. That's my understanding. Yeah. Yeah, take a look. Let's keep on going. And uh, please let us know what you think about uh, the work that we are showing you. So, yeah. Um, so Beijing embroidery has a thousand years of history. Let's see. Uh, James said, uh, "How long does it take to take to make one of these pictures? These are artwork. I would say these are not picture. Uh -huh. About four months. Four months. So, for example, take a look. At this one. This one takes about four months. Uh, we see Korma said, "Very good technology. Great." And uh, yeah, James, uh, we answered the question. It, it takes for this one it takes four months for Ms. Jingxing to finish that. All right, so Kenny said, what materials to use to get the color in the past, and how did they get the design? So Ms. Jingxing, uh, actually, she's responsible for, yeah, go ahead. Oh. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, actually, she did her own design. A lot of work you see here uh, are designed by Ms. Jinxing. And uh, before she started to do these things, she would paint first. So she's uh, also a very good painter. She must mm -hmm. have to be a very good painter. First of all, do the painting and using stitches. Mm -hmm. I would say to do the knotting. Uh, I guess something like that. We'll show you very soon because we have uh, the embroidery frame here. So Ms. Jinxing can show some of the uh, techniques. Uh, the skills very soon. Uh, that's another uh, effect on the couple, the Mandarin duck. So beautiful. Look at the color. Wow. I like it. See the rich color and the um, the vivid imagery. It's also a very traditional color. Red and then green. That's uh, what we commonly use, frequently use in traditional Chinese culture. Um, so for the Beijing embroidery, it, it started to flourish in Ming and Qing dynasty. It has about a thousand years history. Uh, first, uh, mainly or largely used in the court as uh, like uh, court decorations and court costumes. These are yeah some birds, uh, hundreds of them I guess different kinds of birds, and that's a peacock. Mm, that's a peacock, I think and some traditional designs there. Very exquisite materials. So uh, there are a lot of silk threads uh, involved. Sometimes you would see golden thread and silver thread uh, that are being evolved. But for Beijing embroidery, it is uh, very particular about uh, its uh, material usage. It, it mainly uses silk. Silk yeah. thread yeah. for yeah. Beijing embroidery. Natural it's a silk. natural silk. Yeah. yeah. So it's all made by very precious material. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very expensive material. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent silk. Yeah. Let's take a look. What other works of Ms. Jingxing? A lot of works here. I am really glad to show you guys. I think it definitely shows the wisdom and also artis artistic uh, creativity of the ancient Chinese. And I'm really glad that Ms. Jingxing is uh, an inheritor that is able to show us the wisdom of ancient Chinese. Wow, that's so, so beautiful. I love it. This is something I wanted to put. Yeah. You can lo make, definitely use this kind of uh, design and put it on your outfit. Yeah, this is something I wanted to wear. You can put it on your clothes. Yeah. Together, ah, okay. This kind of ball shape, sort of flower, um, means union, reunion. Yeah, and also these are Mandarin. You can see the, a lot of the imagery that we use, they're all having the auspicious meanings in traditional Chinese culture. So, so far you have already seen quite many Mandarin ducks, which means an affectionate couple, and then we see dragons, we see phoenix, peonies, they all have auspicious meanings. So anything you see uh, for Beijing embroidery, they all have great, good meanings, and also they mean something auspicious. Yeah, this is definitely beautiful. Oh. It's a butterfly. Butterfly. Uh -huh. That's so beautiful. All right. We see a lot of these are uh, 
works. Phoenix. Oh, two Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix again. Mm. Ah, Han Dynasty, uh, so early Han Dynasty, um, this phoenix uh, is an ancient design of the, uh, from the early Han Dynasty. Oh, okay, so the design of the phoenix is, can, it has been evolving as well, it's not always the same, it has been evolved. Okay, I see these are all the things uh, with the practical value. We can see the purse. Yeah, actually, we are going to have some of them to put it on to try. Oh, yeah, things here. Uh, ties, look at that. This is dragon. Look at this tie. Wow. See, after you put on this dragon uh, with the technique, using the technique of embroidery, it, it changed the whole, I don't know, the whole look. It looks expensive, it looks ex look, uh, luxurious, it looks glamorous right away. This is beautiful. Oh, very great job, very great job. That's also your work, right, Ms. Jinxing? That's her work? Yes, yes. Wow. For men, we have ties. For women, we have scrub. Uh -huh. yes. Yeah, so Beijing embroidery outclassed the Sioux style embroidery because of its uh, flat, um, you can see the flat stitches. Mm, and also the uh, exquisite and elaborate design and vivid imagery. Okay, all right. So you might b do not know what are these. Uh, can I touch them? Can I? Yeah. Oh, okay. For only one time. <laughs> 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 all right. These are table runner. Yeah. So this is uh, something you, you put on the table to segregate different parts of the table. Very interesting. Different areas of the table. Yes, because we just uh, we want not only do some uh, art items, we mm -hmm. also uh, do some uh, for household house, 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 house items. Yeah. So yeah. we can enjoy everything with, with, with normal times. Exactly. That's uh, these are all household items people can use uh, at uh, at their home. They're having all practical values. Yeah. What's this? That's a scarf. Is, uh, a table know, runner. Table runner. But this is uh, maybe the golden dress. Yeah. You can see that this is Shanghai花的. Okay. Uh, so another kind of mm. yeah flower uh, using the gold thread. Wow. Yeah. We need light. We need some light to show how exquisite and elaborate this uh, work is. Wow, that's so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. How long does it take you to make this? Mm, this is about one month. That's one month only. Mm -hmm. And how long is this uh, table runner? Uh, only this So th there's it's only having this flower. It takes mm -hmm. you four months to... A month. A month. Wow, that changes the whole thing, the whole look of these uh, items. Oh, these artwork, I would say. These are artworks. Yeah, this is the scarf. The scarf? I was actually, before we start the show, I was uh, originally wanted to put a, uh, a dress that is, uh, looks like this, but it's too small for me. <laughs> but, wow, it looks so beautiful. Let's take a look at the detail. Yeah. Wow, look at the golden thread it's using. So sometimes it's golden thread, sometimes it's silver thread, but it, they are all made of uh, all made silk. Yeah, all made silk. silk. Yeah. yeah. See, it changed the whole thing. Remember last time when we were at uh, former residence of Song Qingling, uh, when we started the show, those ladies wearing Qi Pao, but they put on the scarf. It changed the whole uh, look of those ladies, whoever's wearing the Qi Pao. If you add a scarf like this, it makes it look so, you know, so colorful. Sometimes if your Qi Pao is, uh, the color is still plain, but you add a scarf, it changes the whole look. It makes it more interesting to look at. So yeah, I love this. Beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's very glamorous as well. So yeah, for those of you who just started to join our show, uh, this is a Beijing embroidery. We're having inheritor Ms. Jingjing to join us, and uh, this is originated from. Uh, this actually mainly was largely used in court decoration, court clothing. Take a look. These are blue uh, cranes, and also I wanted to point out that the color changed. The blue gradient color. It takes a lot of time and also very excellent job at doing three colors, right? Oh. Yeah. So uh, this uh, work, artwork, 
embroidery artwork, I would say. It's called the Nine Crane Lotus painting. So there are nine cranes of them. So nine in Chinese is jiu. Jiu means uh, long or longevity. And also nine cranes, so longevity, as well as the lotus flower in included in it, which uh, we like to use it to describe what Ms. Jingjing said, the safety, and as well as the uh, noble quality, integrity, or someone who's rising from uh, who's rising unsolid from the mud. We like to use, uh, you know, these are auspicious meaning, great meanings. Um, they're inside this uh, embroidery work. So also beautiful work. How long does it take to make that? Uh, this is two months. Two months. About two months. Wow. How long you have been doing this? Um, 18 years. 18 years. years. For Ms. Jingjing to do the embroidery work. Wow. Great job. Yeah. Take a look. Uh, yeah. 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 Mm. Take a closer look. The lotus, uh, the purse, and also I wanted to comment. Um, I wanted to read you guys' comments. Michelle Cha said, "Very beautiful flower, and the color is rich and beautiful. That flower looked 3D. I know, right?" And uh, Jesse said, "Ah, Jesse is here commenting." And who else? Stuart said, Carla, you look very lovely indeed. Thank you. <laughs> I, don't, I totally look different today because uh, I've been wearing Chi Pao for the last two, three weeks. Uh, uh, for the last two, three weeks and then pretty much looking the same size. So today I'm, I decided to change my look uh, a little bit different. So yeah, I think this is cute. So for a lot of the uh, ladies, uh, they like to hold a purse like this going out or to go to a, an important occasion. Um, so if you hold a purse like this, ah, oh, that that makes you look so glamorous. Mm, I wish I have a mirror. I don't have a mirror, but yeah, you know, you know how how good I look <laughs> right now, right? I love it. I totally love it. So, so colorful. Oh, these are made of yeah, silk. So, okay, very great job. So colorful. All right, let's keep on going. There are some other auspicious uh, embroidery work we are looking at. These are butterflies. These are all designed by Ms. Jingjing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So right now you are going to some of the uh, images that uh, holding the connotation, connotations of the uh, auspiciousness. These are butterflies designed by Ms. Jingjing and I, as far as I know some of the design that is actually used by uh, some of the uh, I think the uh, milk brand or copy brand because these are all in traditional Chinese culture we actually wanted to inherit what we have in the past so right now in modern days quite many commercial brands they wanted to incorporate those traditional Chinese elements so I, I know that some of the, the design that is used by some uh, some brands because we wanted to inherit and wanted to influence uh, the uh, youngsters nowadays yeah, these are Mandarin duck, Yuan Yang, again, yeah. an affectionate couple. We like to use that to describe the newlyweds and uh, the couple I like to use to describe that. I definitely love this color, the purple, purple head, purple body. That's my color. So I, I know that Jesse knows that my color is purple. <laughs> yeah, love it. Love it a lot. So uh, yeah, you can see that Ms. Jingxing, this is is this your own work as well? No, it's your own. It's your own, but it's not your own. It's your own. So this is also another Qi Pao. Uh, we were actually, I was discussing with uh, Ms. Jingxing that um, maybe some other time when I was trying to make a Qi Pao, I can add some uh, um, embroidery work uh, or design. Uh, she can help me to do that. Like this one, you can see these are uh, lotus. Uh, peony. Yeah. Peony. You can add some peony uh, using the technique of embroidery. Um, he, cranes. Yeah, cranes and the peach and also we like to use peach to describe uh, uh, longevity here in China. And this set work is very important for us mm. because you know in this day, in nowadays, very many out packing need good pictures for the ah. uh, good means for the outpacking design. Yeah. So we, we can give them our uh, design, design brand to them, just the design. So they, they can make some very good outpackings. Yeah. Like 
Very nice yeah, and also it's a way to inherit our culture as well. Uh, so we actually, I actually talked about it, the packaging uh, earlier about some, some kind of coffee brand or milk brand. They like to uh, use the design by Miss Jingxing because uh, it's a way to inherit our culture and then to influence uh, the younger generation because that's our treasure. That's our national treasure. Yeah, and also some makeup yeah. brand for the women's and the men's. Yeah. For sure, for sure. So if you just started joining us, we are here looking at uh, Beijing embroidery, which was mainly, largely used in court decoration and clothing. Yeah, these are Phoenix. This is ah, that's my favorite so far. This, this, this color. Look at that. Look at this. Who doesn't want to put it on uh, their, their in, inside their house? I, I would love to have some color like that. It makes you so happy. I don't know. It makes you happy and joyful, the color, so lively. You wanted to put it in home? Yeah. So we believe that is art energy. Yes, so when you see it, you can feel it. You feel the feel energy. Happy, feel happy. Good luck. Yeah. Please remember this set name. It's named the Wu Fu Shi Quan. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a very nice name. Yeah, it, ha famous. it holds meaning. So, like uh, five uh, fortunes. And this is dragon. We, in traditional Chinese culture, we like to use that to describe uh, strength and power. But in ancient Chinese, in ancient China, the dragon, um, the robe that whoever is wearing the robe, uh, only the emperor can have the dragons on their robe. So that's uh, that's a thing. But not not nowadays though. Nowadays we can see dragons everywhere to symbolize uh, strength and power. Ah, this one. Uh, let's take a look at this okay. one. This is because I personally really like. Uh, this is a freehand uh, brushwork uh, in the uh, traditional Chinese painting. Uh, also designed by Ms. Jingxing. Um, you can see there are some ink stone, some brush, ink stone here, and the uh, Ru Yi. Uh, so for those of you who do not know what's Ru Yi, this is an, an S-shaped ornamental object which is a symbol of good luck. This is really, it's an S-shape. Yeah. And there's tea, teacup, a flower, vase. Um, so it, it is actually showing you a uh, spiritual world of the literatis. Uh, so it's showing you that they're trying to pursue the uh, spiritual world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's very simple but also very elegant. Uh, you can see it looks like it's a free freehand brush painting. Uh, it's also designed by Ms. Jingxing. Yeah, it's also we win the gold award last year. Wow. Yes. Uh, for the for this. arts and crafts cup. Wow. So we win the gold award. So wow. It's very it has won an award. Arts for arts and one. crafts. It's both gold award. Yeah. Take a look at that one. Mm. That's also gold color. Wow, and also showing the, uh, a th looks like it's uh, a world of the literati in ancient China. Uh, let's keep on going. Let's take a look. There are uh, one more room, um, but before we go there, take a look. This mighty dragons. Lotus and dragon, right? I like the super, super thread that it's using uh, in this uh, artwork, embroidery artwork. It's very beautiful. It looks so glamorous and luxurious. And uh, let's see, James Hare is watching us. Thank you so much. And Jesse is here. And uh, yeah, let me ask you guys, how's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> um, all right, so Kenny said if wonder if they ship overseas. I believe you can find Beijing embroidery everywhere. Um, so today we are here to show you the beauty of uh, Beijing embroidery and especially Ms. Uh, Jingxing is an inheritor of Beijing embroidery who has been doing this for 18 years. Wow. Oh Lord. Look at this. Look at the silver thread it's using. I'm speechless just looking at it. Uh, this is something you wanted to put on either your clothes, your purse. <laughs> it looks so alive, right? So vivid. And this work means 
reborn. Reborn. Yes, I mean, reborn. it's uh, yeah the the name of this uh, embroidery work is Butterfly called reborn. reborn. Yeah. Wow. Nice job. Nice job. Um, yeah. Let's keep on going. Yeah. Over here, I want you guys take a look. Here, there's an, another dragon. Another dragon. That's uh, so powerful. Looks so fierce. Same, same picture. Yeah. The color, the color is different. Mm -hmm. So here, this is actually the Chinese character of uh, Jia, the Chinese character of family. Jia is family. You can see it. Yeah, yeah. Take a closer look. There are peaches. There are deers, uh, and uh, looks like it's plum blossoms and uh, xiao lu. Uh, yeah, cranes. Mm -hmm. So it's a mixture of different kinds of flowers and also plants. So in traditional Chinese culture, we value the concept of family. You can see it from uh, this embroidery artwork. It shows the significance of family here uh, in traditional Chinese culture. Uh, so for example, like uh, in spring festival, whoever, uh, wherever you are, everybody would train their best to go home to celebrate with their family. So that's why you can see how much the Chinese are value their family. The concept of family is really, really important here. So that shows from this work, the, fa uh, the character, the Chinese character of family. This is the last work I wanted to show you by Jingxing. So exquisite. Look at that. Yeah, look at the, the skillful needlework and the vivid stitches. It looks so alive. It's like a real peacock. Oh, so glamorous. You just you wanted to touch it. It's like magical. It's like so magical. See the golden thread? Oh. All right, so James said, uh, Caroline, thank you for the beautiful live streaming, and I'm glad you guys are joining us. So, Kenny said, Caroline, I'm waiting for international borders to open to, every, to visit. Yeah, I know, I know. So, Kenny said, those are some amazing details, and uh, so much work involved, I know. Yeah, each one of them requires a couple months. So, these are just, let's take an overall, overall view of these, uh, Thing. These are all the awards that Ms. Jinxin has won. Um, how, look how much she has achieved. All those awards and the, the trophies that she has won. This is just extraordinary. So yeah, she is a well-known uh, inheritor of the Beijing embroidery in the industry. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's take a look. So these are all uh, the pictures of uh, Ms. Jinxin. Actually, she impart the uh, embroidery uh, into the uh, poor areas, into the uh, rural areas to help those women who is in the uh, rural areas to increase their income. And this uh, looks like it's, it's like a workshop that's being built in the uh, rural areas. So these are, uh, so she helped them to learn these skills, the embroidery skills, and uh, help to you know, pay them and increase their income. So this is actually a very good thing that she did to help uh, poverty alleviation. Yes, it's a benefit subject. Mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, benefit the project the for the people who's from the rural area. Very, very great job uh, that she did uh, to help to uh, alleviate the poverty in the rural areas. And we pay the salary by hours, not by how much they did. Ah, yeah, it's uh, actually paying them uh, by, uh, by hours. Uh, just wanted to take a look. Uh, some of her design are actually be incorporated into, uh, this is like a, a red pocket, the design on the red pocket. That's her Phoenix, uh, the Mandarin duck design we saw earlier. These are actually being, um, being used by some of the brands, like, such as the Milk brand, they're using them. Yeah, very, very, these are designed by Ms. Jinxing. Mm. So these are some other inheritors uh, that has a, some work, a uh, joint project that is done with Ms. Jinxing. Looks like uh, some other inheritor, uh, looks like there's ivory um, carving and uh, cloison enameling, uh, as well as uh, some palace 
embroidery, palace carpet embroidery. All right, let's go over there. Let's try out some uh, embroidery. Let's have uh, Ms. Jingjing to join us to uh, show us, demonstrate us the, uh, the skills of Beijing embroidery. So whoever is there watching, please say hi to us and um, please share and like this video. We're about to show you the um, Beijing embroidery. Um, demonstrate you how to do uh, how to do the uh, Beijing embroidery. Beijing embroidery. So yeah, uh, why don't we? Oh, this is your teacher. Oh, okay. So this is another inheritor of Miss Jingxin. This is uh, 你好,老师,感谢您。你好,老师,于老师,你好,你好。so Ms. Yu is going to help us to uh, demonstrate the inheritor. She is uh, Ms. Jingjing's teacher. Wow, that is so cool. This is the silk threads. Yeah. So these are all the silk threads that is uh, needed to do the uh, embroidery. So uh, let's take a closer look. How is this thing done? So what, what do we need? We, di we need a... Uh, yeah, see these are silk thread. No, we must so when, before I think before we start, uh, we need to separate these uh, thread. You you might think this is really thin, but it's actually not thin enough. We, we wanted to separate them uh, to make sure it's a uh, really, really thin uh, before we start. Ooh. Mm -hmm. You already guessed the point. Yeah, right? Am I right? Because we, we tried in Beijing embroidery before. Uh, we need to separate them until it's very, very thin before we start. So that's how exquisite Beijing embroidery is how detailed everything is to uh, involved to do the uh, Beijing, Beijing embroidery. So this looks like it's a butterfly. Um, you can see the golden thread it's being used. So what uh, Ms. Yu is trying to do is to separate them. Mm. Mm. So I'm going to try it. Can I can you can try it. Okay. I need a needle. I need a. Hoshiya, <laughs> well, this is so tiny. It's the very first step. It's the very first step to uh, making sure. <laughs> That's so hard. No. It's by your heart, not by your eyes. By your heart? Yes. Not by your eyes. Where's the where's the needle? I just <laughs> dropped it. Just <laughs> I just dropped it. I am so clumsy. I cannot do this. Cannot totally not, not not be able to do this. I cannot even see it. Where's the uh, the hole on the needle? Give you ten minutes. Okay. So you you mean you mean like using your heart, not your eyes? So should I close my eyes? <laughs> should I close my eyes like like this? And it's going to get the work done. I cut it. Okay, okay. Help me out, because I think it's going to take me a whole day to yeah, make it to do this. Sharper, so it's Sharp. easy to throw. Yeah, so for sure. Use one. Use one. Use one. One of them. Easy. <laughs> well, we can skip to next step. <laughs> it's so hard that. Uh, uh, our, uh, one of the staff at the Jingxing uh, studio is saying that I should skip this step. Yeah, skip we should just uh, give up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just give up. How? I think it's going to take me a whole day to do this. Yeah. Okay, let's see what people, are, uh, what you guys are doing. Let's see. Michelle Cha said, uh, I'm doing good in the UK. Everyone. Thanks for asking. Thank you for asking. Thank you for showing us these beautiful embroidery artwork. I'm enjoying myself in today's live streaming. Thank you for being with us. Really appreciate that. So I was asking, so, so they wanted me to, to, to do this, but I was 
like this is so exquisite, so beautiful. Am I going to ruin it? And so that it's okay if you just ruin it. Yeah, you can hold it on the side. You you have your own habit. You hold it on the side. Ah, this is at the bottom. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like. This hand doesn't fall down. 一只手，哪只手在上面？一只手一直在上面。哪只手？这只手，那个手，这只手吧。我我这只右手。<笑> What am I doing? Who am I? Where I am? 哈哈哈哈哈。慢慢慢点。这个上来，这个手不能下去了。这个手不能下去。对，你这只手在上面。This hand has to be up all the time. 可是我我。你不能呃对，所以两个手都是。就是这个手一直在下面，这个手一直在上面。哎，对对对对。哇哦 ，So this hand has to be up all the time, and this hand keeps it down underneath. Ah,、uh, okay, okay, okay. All right, now I'm looking for the green thread. 嗯。差不多是在这儿啊。嗯，对。为啥？就是这个，它要拍上，要排列。啊，排列。对对。拉上来。对。加上了吗？有一点。哇哦。Oh, don't hurt myself. Yeah. 完了，你扎到这儿来，哎，认真的排队啊。嗯，对。然后那个手就接上。左手，左手在底下接针。左手在接针。哎，对，右手不要下去。好。左手再上来。左手再扎上来。再扎上来 ，OK。啊 ，I hurt myself. 啊、uh, ，I hurt myself twice. <laughs> <laughs> this is so this is so painful. <laughs> this is so painful. That's so funny. <laughs> so have you ever hurt yourself? You know, show what song? Sing song. It's very frequent for them to. Uh. 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 Where's the needle? It's gone. Wait, wait. Okay. Is this what?左手从下边。This is really confusing. Ah. 哪只手在上边呀？啊 ，Okay. So the left hand is underneath. This right hand is on the top. 在这儿是吧？ Okay. 对，嗯，对。Oh, I cannot find. The right spot. Okay, right here. That's a bad one. It's hard. It's it's stuck. It looks like it's stuck. That's a bad one. What 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 am I supposed to do? It looks like it's stuck. Here, right? 嗯，他的针法讲究短小平齐，嗯，就是要绣的短。这只手，那等一下，那我太我太长了是吗？是。没没事，你先练，扎这儿，从这儿上，嗯。Oh, the teacher is so nice to me because I feel like I I ruined this. Uh, oh, I got shot out. I hurt myself again. I feel like she's so nice and she's like touching and rubbing my shoulder and I feel like so kind. She's so nice to me. I'm so happy. Aren't teachers supposed to be really like a yell at you all the time? 我说您太对我太好了。是老师不是有的时候是会挺严格的吗？ So I was I was thinking saying like aren't teachers supposed to be strict sometimes? Because Miss Yu is so sweet and nice to me. I'm so happy because I feel like I ruined this work. So for embroidery, it's supposed to be uh, making sure it's flat. Uh, Yeah, oh, oh, I just made a mistake. So yeah, I just made a mistake. I feel like I ruined this work. That's how bad. If I if I do it wrong, how bad? Then just pull the thread down. Don't tie. Don't tie. You now don't tie. You now tie me. Tie where? Tie where? Okay. Tie where? So I was uh, concerned about maybe if I'm going to ruin this. Your your left hand will never fall down. Okay, okay. I always forget that my my right hand is supposed to be. Above. This picture, this picture is my students' painting. Ah, this is a a a paint actually a work that is designed and painted by Jinxin, Miss Jinxin. Yes, Su Da is his. And also the color. Ah, you this hand cannot fall down. I fall down. Yeah, I kept on forgetting that my right hand is supposed to be up, and the left hand is supposed to stay underneath. Yeah. Okay, you guys should uh, remind me, okay, that my hand. Wow, this is hard. It's really complicated. Okay, see.
Wow. This is so hard. So if I ruined it, it's okay because we uh, they can always uh, cut it and then redo it. Okay, so far, I want you guys to take a look. This is what I have done so far. Very ugly. What do you think, uh, Mr. Lee? Come over here. Comment on what I have done. You want to comment on what Okay, comment on what I have done so far. Take a closer look. Yeah. Uh, should I take a closer look? So see, everybody's encouraging me, but I feel like <laughs> it's like an insect. They said it's supposed to be maybe this is a leaf, right? It's supposed to be a leaf, but then I made it look like insect. And uh, but everybody's so nice to me and encouraging me. <laughs> this is what I have done so far. Oh, that is so disappointing. <laughs> That's Your hilarious. Face is red. Yeah, my face is red. Yes. I, it's turning. I'm blushing. No, no, no. I'm just saying that. Uh, uh, this is pretty ugly. <laughs> I'm usually pretty, uh, not very good at, um, you know, this kind of handicraft. So let's comment and uh, let's take a look at what people are talking. Let's see what people are talking, what, sh what you guys think about uh, what I have done so far. Uh, so far I tried this, I think it uh, takes a lot of time to master this skill. Yeah, see, I just tried it the first time. I kept on forgetting my right hand is supposed to be up. I don't remember how many years. How many years? Mm. Uh, uh, from 03年, 2003年开始到现在. 2003年。Wow,那老师,老师。一直都在学习。Ah. Oh. Okay, let's see what people are talking about. Let's refresh the page just a second. Okay. You know, for art skills, you never can see you finish it. Yeah. Because in every step, you can make a new growth. Yeah, you can make some growth. Yeah. All right. Okay. I I think. Uh, why don't Why don't we have a? Uh, 老师如果说我把这个弄坏了，您您怎么去修复它？我这样，我把针吞下来，我把针吞下来，我一针一针给你挑了，拆了，一针一针针。那好，老师您把这个做一遍，我们给大家看一下。So uh, I I just wanted to do this. See, I just ruined this uh, work over here. I just made this plant or this leaf look like a, an insect. So uh, now we have a uh, Miss Yu to sort of uh, re restore this uh, beautiful painting and uh, let's uh, see how it's going to be fixed okay uh, let's get everything out uh, those are ugly things that I have <laughs> I have done so she is going to redo it oh my God. Those, uh, yeah so let's see how she's going to restore this beautiful painting uh, so is this painting supposed to be uh, like a butterfly? Originally it's supposed, supposed to be two butterflies uh, fly together and uh, maybe she can put it into a frame to decorate the wall or put it into uh, maybe to make it a purse so that the ladies can hold two options. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. Ah, so uh, Beijing embroidery, in, in Beijing embroidery, um, the images that you see usually they like to um, have two of them, like a couple, make them two because it means uh, like a encounter or like a reu union or like a couple, affectionate couple. So they like to make it two. That usually means an affectionate couple. Uh huh. Oh. 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 Okay. Ah. Oh. Okay. What means you is saying that uh, you know restore this or getting the uh, stitches out 
the threads out is way harder than you know sewing things on it. Um, sorry, <laughs> my apologies. I just ruined it. I I I told you guys I cannot do things on this uh, work because it's so beautiful. I'm gonna ruin it. So they they insist I should do the do the work on this. <laughs> That's so hilarious. So, you have to do it. 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 So, now we have Miss Yu to do、uh, what it's. Yeah, she's going to redo it and then let's see what it's supposed to look like. So, let's take five minutes and see how it is supposed to be done. Okay? Wow. So yeah. Oh. Yeah. So these are the threads you can see、uh, that、uh, Miss Yu is using. These are all from a decade ago. The threads that is from a decade ago. It's very good quality. Ah,、uh, it's very good quality as well. It's very shiny. See, it has. The lust、uh, on the top of the the thread. So if I hope you just not you you just start, you、uh, you are being with us for this entire live stream. We are doing the、uh, Beijing embroidery.、Uh, today's show is about Beijing embroidery, and today we have Miss Jingxing as well as her teacher、uh, to join us to walk us through、uh, the、uh, techniques, the skills of the Beijing embroidery, and the.、Uh, Really interesting thing that and the steps that we、uh, have you have walked through because I just showed you. So for the Beijing embroidery, it's there are three characteristics. One of them is the、uh, unique status. 看得见吗，老师？太暗了 ，unique status because it's being always being used in the court,、uh, in specific areas. For example, like the dragon represents the emperor, so dragon embroidery can be only used by the emperor. Or and the second feature is uh, uh, is its embroidery patterns. So for earlier we showed you guys there is a wide range of、uh, image. Patterns that we showed you earlier, like including the the dragons,、um, the phoenix, the mandarin dogs,、uh, the butterflies, and the cranes. All these have auspicious meanings. So that's、uh, that is its second、uh, second feature:、uh, the all kinds of landscape、uh, image or animals or plants, which has auspicious meanings. So the third feature for the Beijing embroidery is that.、Uh, It's it has a strong court art flavor because、uh, the appearance is so gorgeous and the materials are really precious. And sometimes you would see、uh, the key parts of the embroidery would be inlaid with、uh, agate or emerald and other gems. 有的时候这个金绣里面也会有呃也会融入一些玛瑙或者是呃这个翡翠是吧？是的。Yeah, so that yeah, it makes it look more glamorous.、Uh, as decorations, it looks more glamorous. So these are the three characteristics,、uh, in, including the unique status and、uh, the em embroidery patterns, as well as the、uh, strong court art flavor. And also, I wanted to talk about the colors. So the main colors in Beijing embroidery. <laughs> Are black, yellow, red, and blue. But so far, we showed you earlier the color. It's very diverse, very rich.、Um, let me tell you some connotations or meanings of those colors that are being used in the Beijing embroidery. For example, like black,、um, it can be, it can mean、um, profoundness.、Uh, for yellow, it means、um, power. Red, happiness, of course. Uh, and blue means nobleness. 老师，我问一下啊，如果说像这个，呃，老师您坐。呃，如果是这个颜色，在这个金绣里面，不同的颜色是不是有不同的意思？对它，因为是宫廷刺绣，所以它用的基本上皇家五色比较多。皇家五色就是黑、黑、蓝、蓝、红、红、黄、黄，呃，绿、绿，嗯。Different emotion. Okay, different. So the main color for the Beijing embroidery, which is used in court, is、uh, used in palace. Involved black, red, yellow, green. 
uh, blue. These are the five colors that are widely used. Um, they all have different emotions and repre represent something different. Wow. Oh. oh, okay. So uh, Ms. Yu is uh, 66 years old, and I'm really glad she is here uh, as one of the inheritors of Beijing embroidery. Join us and show us this uh, treasure, uh, the national treasure. So the uh, Beijing embroidery it was listed on the National Intangible Cultural Heritage. We're really honored to have her to show us the techniques of Beijing embroidery. And this is something we wanted to inherit and we wanted to pass on to the younger generation. Oh, she started to learn this since she was seven years old. And nowadays, Ms. Yu did our embroidery lessons. Oh. Yes. We have whole series embroidery lessons here. If you have interest, you, you can join us. Oh, she is still teaching? Yes. Mm. Wow, she is still teaching the embroidery. She is an engineer. So Ms. Yu is an engineer and she does embroidery as a hobby. No way, what? She is an engineer, does uh, bridge, oh, illustrations. That's crazy, wow. Okay, how the? Ah, so what we uh, showed you uh, is uh, we because of we have limited time. Uh, Ms. Ms. Yu just showed half of the leaf on the left side, and the later on it's going to be connecting this uh, green leaf at the at uh, the bottom. So because of the limited time that we have, uh, so we are not be able to show the complete work of this uh, Beijing embroidery. So I'm really glad, Lao Shen. So I really, I just wanted to thank uh, Ms. Yu as well as Ms. Jingxing for showing us uh, the Beijing embroidery. And uh, this is a, a handicraft that uh, features the elegant patterns and was widely used in the court decorations as well as court clothing. And I really appreciate you guys for joining us. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's live, stream, live streaming about Beijing embroidery. I'm Caroline Gu. Thank you so much for spending time with us, and we'll see you next time. Bye.